Hey everybody, this is Chris Batista of CMB Reggae, and once again we are in a place that is different than the Sin Bin. We are backstage at Ardmore Music Hall where the lovely and talented Misha McGregor, aka Misha Steele, has just gotten off the stage. First off, um, must be an exhausting rush of adrenaline. How are you feeling right now? I'm still excited. You're still excited, okay. I, I think they liked me. So. Oh yes, <laughs> judging from the reaction in the crowd, they, uh, they, 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 they definitely did enjoy your presence. Uh, I do notice that you uh, you do a number of shows in Philly. You seem to come here every once in a while. What, what, what's your take on this town? Is this a happening place? It's been my experience that it's it is, there's a lot that goes on it's here. It's definitely happening. Uh, you know, coming from New York to here, it's definitely a bit of fresh here as well. Because at least when you come to the events, you know you can find parking. That's one. That's <laughs> parking, yes. Yes. You, you, you not, hear you hear that, reggae fans in the Mid Atlantic? <laughs> you want to go to a show and you want parking? Philadelphia's the place to go. <laughs> DC's uh, New York City is busted, no, and so is DC. Literally, one time I okay, so um, I went to BB King's to perform and open for Anthony B some years ago, and because the signs were so confusing in the area, <laughs> I thought my car was good. When I came out, it was gone. Oh no. <laughs> So, not fun after having such a nice, exhilarating experience, and then you go back down to earth. Yeah. And, oh, you could send send the bill to Anthony B. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, we were talking before you got on stage, and you were saying that um, one of your influences was um, Diana King, because she had the ability to both do the the dancehall style and the singing, yes. and you've definitely so, followed through in that tradition. She's definitely a pioneer in that regard because when we were coming up, you know, they would tell us either you gotta sing or you can, you know, rap or DJ. Mm -hmm. They did not want us to do both. For some reason, they, they felt like it was supposed to be segregated. Mm -hmm. I never got that. D they thought it was different crowds, <laughs> right? Yeah, but, and then she came on and she was mainstream and she's singing Say, say a Little Pray For You in Patwa. Melodically singing it in Patois. Yeah. You remember, right? Yes. And then Shy Guy, of course, he's yes. like, Every way they're going to mind, rush me. Have a And then yes. she goes, Oh Lord, I'm mercy, mercy. Just match it up. Yes. I love to sing along, but I know my audience does not does not want to hear me warm up the pipes. So I'm looking for a backup singer. You're looking for a backup? I'll, I'll keep it in mind. We'll, 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 we'll put a pin in that. Okay, so uh, right now I don't want to crowd you out and obviously give you some dressing room time to relax. But before we go, I just want to know out of curiosity, if you're looking to find out what's going on in the Mid-Atlantic, where precisely do you get your information from? CMB Reggae. Yes. Oh, no. I like to hear that. <laughs> okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, once again, CMB Reggae fans, continue to tune in uh, every week for new content. And uh, look uh, look forward in the next couple of weeks when um, Misha Steele and I will work together on a Zoom interview. All right. Take care. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. One, One love. love.